The House of Representatives on Wednesday has directed the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board, JAM, to desist from any further action on the issue of the alleged manipulation of the Unified Textury Matriculation Examination results by a candidate, Ms. Ejikeme Mesoma. Now, the House of Representatives uh, called on JAM to lift the sanction barring the candidate from participating in the examination for three years and called for the independent examiners to examine the girl's script and determine her score. Now, joining us uh, to discuss this is an educator and a chain agent, uh, Ikechi Wogu. Ikechi, so good to have you join us. Apologies for the um, hiccup. Uh, my question again. Uh, many people have waded into this matter, and then, of course, the National Assembly is the latest to wade in, uh, into this matter. Now, there's different opinions on this, that the National Assembly shouldn't have gotten involved in this matter. But many have also said that this matter has dragged on so long. It has become a national issue. What's your take on this? Yeah, I think it opens up a kind of worms, um, you know, so we are, we are at, at the days when a lot has to be put in terms of our questions. Um, integrity checks need to be done. A lot of auditing needs to be done because this only exposes um, the many things that probably have been going on at the back end. Okay, so um, how clear is... Um, jam on the operations okay um, especially the backroom staff because um, i mean we've always heard about compromise here and there and it spans through decades okay so um is it true that um the the, the system was compromised is it true that um i mean results were falsified where was jam when all of this was going on I, 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 at this point it's almost a week since this drama began we expect that to some extent jam should be exact okay any any infiltration any hack any access into the amazon web service where the day you come in the day an administrator accesses the system the records are kept so jam should have such with technology this is technology okay so they should come clear and say this is the day this girl hacked into our system this is the day our system was compromised this is the ip address Okay, um, of the system of 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 the, of, of yeah, the IP address that was used and all of that, they shouldn't be expressing doubts and saying this and that. I mean, imagine that a student comes out and says, "This is the result that was issued to me," and Jam is doubting their own result. I mean, it it, it defeats the entire purpose of you know their integrity checks. Yeah. Um. Many have also queried the jumping to conclusion here and the involvement of the DSS on this matter. Um, many have also said it's not the DSS, it was just the police. But then we, we see that the commissioner um, for education in her state has come up to say that the DSS was actually involved into the matter and it was they were called in. Um, you know, by uh, officials of JAM to investigate the matter. Again, should JAM be investigating, uh, DSS be investigating Mesoma, or should they be investigating JAM in itself? Because if this girl continuously says, this is what I printed out of the system, this is what I was given, then of course, just as you said, there needs to be some checks. Um, even if, and we're not jumping to conclusions, something comes out of this, should Jam also not be facing some level of sanctions? Um, is it enough to say, well, this girl cannot um, write um, this examination for the next three years? And, uh, and, and again, the National Assembly asking that this um, embargo be lifted. Are they helping you know, the situation or are they making it even worse? I think the cases should be isolated on their merits. In the first place, um, my, my daughter was involved in Jam this year. And we, from the mock exams, the essence of the mock exams is to test the integrity of their system, to audit their system in, in terms of readiness for the exams, okay? And on the first day, we went in at the due time, and we, we she was scheduled for 9 o'clock in another city. I drove her all the way to that city, and then 9 o'clock, the exams didn't start. We had to leave almost 4, 4 p.m., at night, um, in the evening, right? We left back for home and uh, we found out that the system scarcely worked. Okay, so integrity test had failed and it's up until the day of the exams, she had to stop before her time because the systems were malfunctioning. The young man beside her just had a wreck, okay, because he just kept accessing and accessing and he was frustrated. For her, she saw the failure of the system. When the system stops you, okay, it restarts you. 
and all of that and the entire frame is compromised so jam didn't do a thorough job okay in terms of integrity and systems audit okay so um at that point jam deserves the full investigation because when all of those glitches or call one too many, then they, they only give rise to um, to um, infiltration of their system and compromise. Okay, so the jam system has been compromised. And so jam needs to run their internal audit. And for the respect of it, they don't even need to go as far as the DSS because it makes it a lot messier. Okay, um, since the advent or since the appointment of Professor Ishak Oloyede, I've known him, I've met him, I've been in the jam office. He's done a whole lot towards cleaning up the system. But the system, this the systemic decay in the joint admissions and matriculation board spans through decades. I've had, you know, um, encounters here there as far as 20 years ago, 25 years ago. Okay. And nothing has been done. So the DSS coming in now should start from the very foundation to see where these things could be done. It's at that point they will detect whatever it was, whatever was done with Mesoma or not. There are many Mesomas out there in the streets, okay. And so it's not just about this one case of Mesoma. And through generations of jam, there have been Mesomas. Okay, so yes, I agree with the National Assembly to say um, stay action on all the um, uh, the suspensions for three years and all that. I mean, come on, the little girl is too young for that. She might be innocent, she might not be innocent, but it's only when thorough check of jam and then jam is found guiltless in all of this, then we can say, okay, mess up, okay, you come sit down. How did you pull through with this? Okay, did you actually pull through with this or you didn't pull through with this? But for now, we're still at the stage of investigating the joint admissions and matriculations board as an office, especially their tech staff especially their tech details. Yeah. Finally, finally, one word before I let you go, um, a, a sentence. Um, in, in the future, going forward, how do we make sure that these kinds of issues don't crop up? Because I'm sure, just as you said, there are many, several, several other people who probably have these same kinds of sleeps um, that would be flat one way or another. How do they make sure that this doesn't come up? Because again, I, I remember saying INIC instead of um, JAM because it reminds us of an INEC situation. And we keep having these cases crop up every now and again, even when millions and sometimes billions are earmarked to you know, upgrade systems and make them ready for situations such as the examination in itself or even the mock ones. Going forward, how do we protect these um, systems and firewalls from being infiltrated? Two words, systemic integrity. I think heads just have to roll because they have been rot spanning through many years. I mean, you, 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 if you have cases like special centers, as with JAM, as with um, other examinations, okay, national exams. I mean, today you have schools where you see the exam, maybe YF officials or something, you say, go and be okay. vigilate, go and vigilate that school. And they say, we okay. will not go. Why? Because the school doesn't pay. The school was a bribe. You know, you have all of such ten YEC officials and yeah. invigilators yeah. go and invigilate so so and so, so. and they, they say we won't go because they won't give us a bribe. They won't settle us. So well, it's, it's, it's it's crazy. Yeah, in the case of JAM now, they, they refer to the electronic exams. Okay. Yeah. But the electronic exams are not without their own glitches. So yeah, so a lot of systemic overhaul is required. Okay, let's have yeah. a system, a very thin system that we could okay. say, yes, it is with this system, we've done the tests and there's yeah. relative integrity, uh, we want to conduct exams. Then we can say we're ready for this. Otherwise, well, we'll have to go, not, unfortunately, time is not on our side, but I think we have to revisit this issue of cost of, of fortifying our systems, whether it be for elections or for examinations. But I want to say thank you. Ketu Wogu is an educator and um, always uh, on hand to speak with us on issues such as this. Thank you so much for speaking with us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Marianne. A pleasure. Always a pleasure to eat this. All right. Well, that's the show thank tonight. You. We want to thank you all for participating. Don't forget that if you want to play catch up on all our previous episodes, just go to Plus TV Africa or Plus TV Africa Lifestyle on YouTube. And of course, be uh, on hand to check all of our different programs. My name is Mary Anna Quinn. I'll see you tomorrow on Plus Politics. Have a good evening.